Congratulations, how does it feel to actually get your hands on that trophy? Yeah, it's, it's uh, been a long time coming, uh, but it's, it makes it look more real now, you know, um, after the, uh, the judgment come through that we, you know, we made it, but this just puts a little bit of a cherry on the top and now we just can't wait till the uh, fixtures come out and that will make it more surreal. Nice to get most of the guys together, wasn't it, to actually celebrate the fact that you won the title. Yeah, we're missing a couple, unfortunately they couldn't make it, but uh, uh, Wardy's turned, Big Wardy's turned up, he always turns up for the, uh, the medal, so he's, uh, but no, it's great, great to get together. It's the first time I've seen them since the last game, and it's, uh, they fully deserve all the applause they've got, they've, they've been outstanding last year. So it was an anxious wait, wasn't it, to find out exactly how the, the season would unfold? Yeah, it was. It was, uh, it was a long wait. I mean, Steve was very active on it, uh, the chairman, and uh, uh, I'm glad for him as well because he put a lot of time and effort in there, so I'm really pleased for him that he's come out the right way. Uh, and we just had to wait to see what the EFL were doing, and then uh, we followed suit. So as soon as that decision was made that they were going to go points per game, then we do that, you know, we're falling in line. And, and the, the season in general, it was a, an, an amazing ride, wasn't it, for the guys? Learned so much from that first game and then sort of kicked on from there. Unbelievable, unbelievable season. You couldn't have asked for anything. It was, uh, to go toe to toe like we did this in that league was it's, it's very hard league. Uh, and you're only good as your top players you've got, and we've got a really special group here uh, that are close, close bond. Uh, kept the core group again. Uh, we'll add a little bit of quality around it and then we'll go again. The standout thing throughout the campaign was that the faith you had in the guys that you, and you knew they had the ability to to, to upset the odds if you like. Yeah, yeah they do. They, uh, they go every time for the shirt, they will do. They won't let this town down. And I'm so pleased for the supporters in the town as well because we're, we're at new heights here and uh, we'll, we'll go into the league above now and we'll give that a good go as well. We really will do. And, uh, it will be, will be, but uh, I can tell you now that this, this group of players won't let the team. We wondered how the players would take to the step up to National North, and that, that, was, that was answered emphatically. Yes, yeah, and now we're going into professional league, uh, being a part-time team, so we're really up against it, but uh, we're, we're really looking forward to the challenge, it really will be. Uh, we start training this weekend, uh, so it's going to be a good six weeks. Uh, real hard intensity because we've got to be fit being a part time, part -time team. But we'll, we'll be ready, we'll be ready for it and we'll give it a good count. We'll be really good, we'll give it the best shot. There are obviously many memorable, memorable moments throughout the, the, the season, but any standouts for you? York at home here was, was, was a little bit special, you know, with the crowd, the town come out and really got behind us. You know, to see, to see this stadium packed as it was to the rafters was, was a special moment and then obviously getting the win as well put, uh, put the cap on it so that, that's a standout one for me. I mean obviously goal scorers get a lot of the plaudits and, and, and great to see that Adam Merritt is staying. Yes, yeah, it was, uh, he had a few offers uh, but none really that pushed enough buttons for him and uh, we're, we're pleased that he's committed for us for another year. Uh, so that keeps, keeps like I said, that core group together. Uh, and now it's just had a, had a couple more and then I think we'll be there. So it's a really exciting time. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, that, that's the word, isn't it? Exciting for, for yeah. the club because the, the ride they have been on over the last few years just seems to continue. Well, we've surpassed everything we've, we've done. You know, all expectations were, were blown out the window because of what we've achieved. And, uh, to go toe to toe with the big boys, and we're going to go toe to toe with them again, and that's all we can ask for. As long as once we get out of this COVID uh, a, 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 a demic, or pandemic, or such and say, it's, it will be, and this place gets filled again. We, you know, we can't wait for them times. And you, you've obviously had experienced players in the side. But a, a word to the youngsters as well who've come through and, and really stood up. Yeah, they did. The they did. It's, it's, we've got a good mix. We really have got a good mix here. Uh, and the youngsters really took it. And uh, the good thing is here, the older ones here, the more experienced ones, lead by example. And we've got some really good ones. So they have to follow suit. And uh, if they don't, they're, they're told very, very quickly to, to jump back in line. You, you say you're still on, on the lookout for, for another couple, so you're, you're not quite happy yet with the... No, no, we've, we've, at the moment we've got 17 outfielders, uh, so we're on the lookout for a few more. We've got, we've got our targets and we're in, 
dialogue with them and uh, hopefully they'll come out um, and then we'll be ready to go. We, we will be. Let's go back to the start of the season again. Did you think this was possible? No, no, not in a years. Uh, I always had, I had lots of faith in the group, I always have, because um, I know the quality in there, working with them when I do. Uh, but coming off that field of guys, when we've got our backside smashed 3 0, and uh, it was nice to come out this end knowing all that hard work's worth it. And what about towards the end of the campaign when it just tailed off a little bit, you know, a couple of home games, weren't they, when the, the yeah. points weren't taken? But that's the expectation levels around the place. We were going to lose games, we were always going to lose games. So it's the point of we went so long without losing a game, and everyone just thinks we're going to turn up and win. But. We're not, we're not at that level yet. Uh, we're striving to be at that level, and even at towards the end when it took a lot of people by surprise, I think, that we lost a couple of games at home, but the form was still there. We were still performing. Uh, we just didn't take our chances in the last game, but I don't care anymore. <laughs> and, and overall, you gained so much respect from other clubs, didn't you, throughout the team? Yeah, we, we, we took it head on. We really did. We didn't change from our philosophy. We would get the ball down and we try and play. Uh, we, took, we got away with a few, uh, we know we can't be that expansive going into this league so we're going to have to have a little tinker here and there but that's the beauty of it, I mean every game's going to be a challenge for us going against these full time teams and we're, we're going to be ready for it. Congratulations again. Thank you, Is it a lot of change in your philosophy ahead of the new season given that you're, you know, a lot of professional teams? No, I think we'll handle the ball still, I, I really do. We, uh, we're going to add a lot of pace to the team. Uh, we've got a very good player come joining us with Jamal. Um, Brownie as well, we've had some different choices. A really hungry player that wants to get, develop his career. And young Ty coming in as well, you know, looking at his development side as well. We, we, you know, we've got hungry players coming into the squad uh, to complement the slot. So it's an exciting time. Where do you, you, you said you've still got sort of things to, to finish off on the recruit. What are the most important areas? you now to recruit? Well, I think we're still the defender short, so we'll look, we'll look into that area there, uh, and then obviously another midfielder as well. Uh, we've got Big Archer coming in to give us competition with Peds, because Peds has been a single one for many a year here. So we need competition. We need competition in all areas, and uh, they will push each other, um, and that's what we need. We can't have anyone being you know, complacent in, in any side. I suppose people will look at Pedro and say, look, he's been number one for a long time. Um, do you have to guarantee Norwich that Archie plays, or is it completely up to you? You've got three hands? No, he, 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 they would, uh, were really grateful for him to come because he's, 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 he's fought very highly there. Uh, but there's no, no guarantees that he play whatsoever. They said, oh, I can't do that, I can guarantee no one. But what we'll do if he comes out, between the pair of them who have a formal play. So Baz is your time as official as well. I'm sorry to say at the moment that Baz is... <laughs> sorry to say, he ain't talking to me. <laughs> um, and with Mazza, uh, was there ever any doubt? I mean, obviously, if other clubs were, were sort of talking to him, but did, did you feel that he'd come back? Did you... No, not you really. I, uh, in a way, I wonder if it's on a selfish point, but on... Uh, on um, what he's done for this club in the last two years, you know, you wanted him to, to try to, to, to give it another go. And I fully understood what he, was, what he was saying. I was always in constant dialogue with him, uh, that he wanted that chance. Um, but I just don't think it was right for him. Uh, I think the offers that did come in for him just weren't right. And uh, we always said that we'll be here for him, you know, you know take as long as you want, as long as you know, keep us in dialogue. And, uh, well, it's a bit of a feather in your cap, the, 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 the guy with that golden touch it says, yeah, I'm happy to play for Kingsley. I think he enjoys it here, I think he enjoys being part of the group, uh, he's got good players around him that play to his strengths, uh, and he's a team player as well, so it's, it's, uh, hopefully it'll be a win-win for both sides. When we started this over a year ago now, I can't remember when it all was, you, you know, you, you say, basically saying it's survival, yeah. you know, if we can just keep an next above that relegation zone, yeah. is that how you look at it exactly actually? Same. You might as well rewind it and I'll say <laughs> it's <all the> <laughs> Oh, it's written that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's going to be. It's, it's, it's like us playing York every week. It's, 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 a, it's a, a professional league, it's Division 3, uh, League 3. Um, it's going to be really, really bad because we're behind the curveball already because of... Uh, 
you know, we're staying part time. Um, it's something that if we can we can survive, we can look into about growing this football club again. But we've got to take one step at a time. The main step now is just to, to stay in this league and, and, and grow. So presumably one day you'd like to see it if you can survive, become a full time club. Well, it, I think it'd be everybody's dream. I know Stephen has got big plans for this football club, but it's, 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 you've got to do small steps at times. I think we've surpassed everyone's expectations in one year. Uh, and jumped a, a big league, uh, and now we just got to right, take stock a little bit. We're not going to be frightened of it, no way we're going to be frightened of it, we're going to attack it, and we're going to play our way, we'll get beat along the way, but if everyone stays together, we'll, we'll give this the right good shot. It does sound familiar. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> part, part time, is it going to be a hybrid model then? How, how many sort of times are you hoping to train a well, week? Well, we're we've increased it by one night, so uh, obviously the boys train, uh, uh, work, so we won't be able to change it that much. But we're increasing the, our contact time with them by another night, so uh, we'll work for three nights a week. Uh, we had to put that to the group first of all, uh, but they've all bought into it, all bought into it, to a man, and. Uh, it gives us a, a little bit more chance. We need, we need to be fit. We need to fit and we need to run and run and run. And hunt that ball as much as possible. And, uh, it gives us, a, gives us that extra night, that extra contact time, to give us a little bit more uh, breathing space. Did you have a few of the lads who could have gone full time if, if, if the chance there was there? There is a possibility, yeah. That we could have looked at a different module as well, but it's too much too soon at the moment. So we'll, we'll gradually start to phase things in as we go along, especially if we uh, look comfortable. And, and, you know, but it, we're under no illusions what how hard this, is, this task is in front of us. And what are you looking forward to most next season? Again, it's going up against full-time clubs and you know trying to come up with something that will give them a problem. Uh, I think we'll be competitive, I really do, because uh, that's the challenge, to be competitive in every game. And then coming up with a little bit here and there that will uh, sub surprise me. In the last season, you said winning promotion to the National North was your best achievement, perhaps your best achievement in football. Does this top that as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the sad thing is, we haven't done it on the pitch. That's the thing. I mean, the one, one that we come up the last time at uh, Warrington was done on the pitch, and you, you saw the energy that the boys put in. Uh, it's just a shame that. We're, we're celebrating without any fans here, and, and uh, the boys deserved deserved to, to win it on the pitch uh, because of what we've done throughout the year. But there'll be a time where we will we'll celebrate it with the fans, I'm sure, and uh, the boys the boys will enjoy it. Just got to ask you congratulations as well. Your manager of the year, I guess that's sort of <laughs> not a surprise. How many of these have you had? Have you had player of the year at Norwich? Yeah, I did. I was, I was lucky enough there. Listen, this is all down to players. Players play the game. It's, it's, it's indiv individual. It's done, man. Players play. And uh, we can bark orders as much as you can from the side and come up with little bits and pieces, but they got to execute whatever you give them. And uh, they've, they've been magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. So they deserve all the applause they get. They really do. But the award straight in the toilet? Yeah, but it's here, I'm afraid so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really appreciative of, of, of all the accolades that come, but it's, it's, it's the players' game. It's the players game.